Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. First of all, I want to thank the current subscribers to my channel. Um, as you have seen from my previous um, video, uh, this is my first uh, reef tank in about 10 years being outside of the hobby. Um, today is going to be maintenance day on the tank. I'm going to be doing a uh, 15 gallon uh, water change, saltwater water change. And uh, just wanted to uh, kind of point out and uh, show you guys what I've got going on right here. Um, as you can see, I've got a uh, nice moon core right there to the uh, left, a blasty mouse right there. There's some sand sifting stars, and uh, here's my Australian pipe fish, which has been doing really good in the tank. He uh, loves to eat the uh, copepods and uh, all the uh, little other critters um, that I put in every Thursday with the reef stew. As you can see, there's a pretty large uh, feather vest I have there. There's my uh, sour apple um, scully that I have, and some of my montiporas. I, I love montiporas. Um, I think they're just neat. Here's a uh, purple and green that I'm uh, growing out. Uh, hopefully, they'll uh, get entwined with each other. As you can see, there's a pretty good sized bird's nest right there. There's a nice uh, green cat's paw, a uh, pink and blue cat's paw that I have right there. The uh, coral lights are blue. Um, that dreaded anemone right there is going to go downtown here uh, tonight with the water change. I do have uh, my purple sea whip, which is a photosynthetic gorgonian. Uh, there's one of my pajama cardinals back there. Um, a uh, cirrus snail back there. And uh, here is my pink's bird's nest which is doing really good. Uh, strawberry shortcake uh, acro. Um, this right here, I don't know. I know it's an acro. I don't know specifically which subspecies it is, but here in my tank, as you can see, it's turning blue, uh, which is really cool. I do love the uh, blue acros. Right now I'm in the wait list for a piece of uh, blue uh, tortuosa. Um, then right here, I've, uh, I've got one of these uh, I can't remember the name of this specific coral. I just got this plug here about a week ago. My uh, orange uh, Recordia from Florida. Uh, my fuzzy mushrooms, of course. My uh, acan, my um, acans. Oh, I can't speak right now. My Duncan eyes, um, which I fed. That's why they're all closed up right now. Here, I, and here's my albipora, which is just love. I've had this albipora since um, about a month after I set up the tank, and. Uh, Here's another uh, pink uh, cat's paw. And then here is a non-photosynthetic gorgonian. Uh, he's closed up right now. I fed him about an hour ago. Uh, there's another non-photosynthetic, and of course the blueberry, which so far so good. I feed uh, pretty much every night uh, some Tubbs Blue Zoes, uh, another little frag of the uh, Duncan. Pulsing Xenias, I know, uh, they grow like weeds, but I just had to have one. And um, my crazy plate coral, which I just love right there, some green mushrooms. My golden chalice, which is actually golden, you know, under the uh, lighting, which is pretty neat. And then that's my hammer. Um, and then uh, my head right now, of course, these guys right here. I've got one here and one over here. Uh, the acans. So uh, those are the acanth lords right there. And then I've got another uh, piece of uh, acans right here, which is pretty cool. My wife actually picked that one out, so I call that her piece of coral. <laughs> and then my Australia, my Australian, pardon me, uh, elegance coral. As you can see, uh, elegance corals are notorious for eating snails. Uh, those are the uh, uh, the uh, shells of the snails that he's eaten so far. He opens up four times bigger than that. That's why he's in the corner right there. Um, here is kind of a side view of the tank right there, if you guys can see. Um, I've got the uh, Coralias on there. I've got a couple of them. And uh, I've got the uh, Hydro Wave Maker right there. Um, as you can see, my ORP is currently at 383. I do dose, I do dose um, ozone. And down here, um, right now you really can't see what's going on, but 
I'm going to do a separate video on my, the rest of my equipment. I have a, a Tunzi protein skimmer. Um, here's my Milwaukee uh, pH meter and temperature gauge. And my uh, refugium, which is down here. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can turn on the lights on my refugium. Well, I hold this right here and I'm going to try to keep it angled at the tank as much as I can. Aha! I was able to. That way I can show you guys what's going on down here. So, so far I've been dosing with the uh, Bionic. I've got my uh, Chetto Morphia growing down there, which is going pretty good. I've got some green mac, some, uh, sorry, red macroalgae, a little sprig of Calerpa that I'm growing. Um, a couple of the uh, red um, mangrove trees, which have actually sprouted more leaves in here. And I do have my uh, Tunzi uh, auto top off system, which I just love. This unit is wonderful. Um, here is my Tunzi skimmer. I did a different view of it right now. Right now we've got about uh, 200 ml worth of gunk. As you can see, that thing pulls out junk, which is awesome. I do have my uh, Rebel Floss Reactor back there. Um, and so far, knock on wood, um, so far so good. As far as my LEDs goes, you know, I since I've been out of the hobby for so long, I, I tried these, uh, these uh, high output uh, LEDs. I've got three of them. They're 150 watts each. You know, I'm pretty amazed so far at the coral growth uh, that I've gotten from them. Uh, the colors that I'm getting out of the coral is great. Um, I don't think I'll go back to metal halides again. <laughs> Even if I tried doing HQIs or anything like that, I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, some of my inhabitants, uh, last time I mentioned, uh, one of the new additions right there is my baby chevron tang, which I love to death, which is awesome. Mystery rats, which just went back there, my pair of platinum clowns. Um, I've got three damsels, three pajama cardinals, and then that's my, ma my male uh, Hawaiian flame rats. The female is hiding right now. So that's pretty much my tank at this point. Um, once I do my water change, um, I'll go ahead and uh, possibly post another video. If not, I'll give it another month or so so that you guys can see what the progress is like. I will be adding some blue-green recordias. They're uh, coming in for me this weekend. And also, um, I believe there's some metallic orange mushrooms coming. So this is just awesome. Uh, thank you all who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, thank you all for your advice, uh, recommendations. Uh, so, oh, somebody asked me about the uh, sand bed. Um, I have the, uh, the fighting, conch, fighting conchs in there. I have the Nasseri snails, sand sifting stars, um, definitely the uh, small bristle worms, uh, the copepods, and all sorts of other little guys in there because of the uh, reef stew that I put in if they just grow gangbusters. I had half of it in the tank and then half in the uh, refugium and they are just thriving in the refugium. I do have a couple of cleaner shrimp in there which you guys might be able to see one of the guys down here. Well you can kind of see him I guess. He's right there. And then the other one I believe is behind the elegance coral right now. Um, so a couple cleaner shrimp and I do have uh, five of the uh, peppermint shrimp to take care of the Aptasias. Um This one right here again, which is close to the cat's paw right there. He is gonna go bye-bye tonight um, I love using Aptasia X. It works great so far so good. I wish they would have had that product back You know a while ago when I was in the hobby. I used to have a 500 gallon reef in California, but hey You know what now I have it now I can use it and uh I don't have to worry about it too much and just enjoy my reef. Anyhow, thank you everybody for subscribing. Uh, please continue, you know, sending me the comments, uh, suggestions, uh, and I'll be uh, continuing uh, posting videos here. Um, soon I will have um, my frag business again, which is going to be called Desert Oasis Corals here in Arizona. Uh, and uh, please uh, wish me luck, knock on wood. I'll uh, be able to take that off here in the next 90 days or so. 
All right, guys. Thank you much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good night.